Hey guys, Kamakuno. Today I'm doing a topic video on how to afford comic books. And I think I get this question probably the most out of, um, on the comments on my videos. How do you afford your comic books? You know, you buy a lot of them. And I want to give you guys some of my tips of how I afford my comic books. Uh, first tip is look for sales. Uh, in my comic book store, I have a lot of sales for titles that I um, have, so I'm very lucky for that. But for you guys, if your comic book store doesn't have sales that often, Definitely wait for those sales or um, go on the internet, look for those sales. Uh, there's a lot of comic book stores on the internet that have sales every week and have uh, really good sales every week for uh, titles that are coming out that week. Um, also, maybe eBay might be a really good uh, way to get a cheaper comic book. A lot of times, sometimes they don't know what they have and they say, oh, this came out this week, I didn't know. And they sell it for a little cheaper. So you might want to look on eBay and maybe have a cheaper price. You might get it like a week later, but at least you got a cheaper price on your comic book. Um, also, trades are a really great way. A lot of times, the trade is cheaper to collect than to have all the comics each month and it kind of sometimes it's better read if you read it all in um one trade because you have like let's say seven issues seven issues back to back in a trade and it might be better to understand that story in a trade and a little cheaper so um you might want to wait for trade i know a lot of people do do that unless it's like their favorite um series and they just can't wait that long but if you're one of those people that are very patient then go get the trade it's a lot cheaper than just getting every issue each month um Another way is to shorten your uh, pull list. I know a lot of times you don't want to give up that title. It's like, I want to read it, but, you know, it might get better. But, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes they don't get better, the titles. You know, for me, I give the title a chance, and I'm like, oh, I'm not really liking it. Or, like, a, a series just, like, goes downhill, and you're like, I love this series, but, you know, it's really going downhill. Maybe I'll pick it up. You know, I'm going to take a little break. And that saves you money in the long run. And maybe if you like the series again, you're like, oh, I'm going to pick it up again. And then you kind of just add to stuff and um, remove stuff from your pull list. So I would say, you know, give the story arc a chance. Say, all right, I didn't really like it, but I'll give it, like, two more issues a chance. But if you really start not to like an issue, then pull it, put it off your pull list. So those are my... Um, Tips for you guys to save money on your comic books, because comic books, when you add it all up um, each week that you buy them, sometimes it could add up, especially with comic books always having extra money now, um, you know, being more expensive, I mean, uh, because they, like, there's $4 comic books, sometimes they're $3 comic books, but there was a time when they were 15 cents, you know, so... With all the years, um, let's say 20 years from now, we don't know how expensive comic books are going to be. So you definitely want to lower that price. And those are my tips to lower the price for your comic books and to buy your comic books. And uh, tell me in the comments below what you think about my tips and if you guys have any tips to afford your comic books. And I hope you guys enjoyed this topic video. In the next set of video reviews I have next week, I'll have another topic video. And this is Comic Luna. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember in the comments below, tell me what you guys thought. And... Uh, See you guys. This is Kamikuna. Bye, guys.